Hola, ¿qué tal, raza? Hoy estamos de manteles largos, ya que está con nosotros Lauren Janine Sato. Él pues, ha estado por mucho tiempo en el mundo de, de los eSports. Eh, él ha trabajado en empresas como SL y ahora viene con nosotros aquí ya como fundador y director de eh, Liquid Dogs. Y bueno, pues muchas gracias por, por darnos un poquito de tu tiempo. Y eh, Lauren, eh, cuéntanos un poco de pues, cómo fueron tus inicios eh, hasta ahora que ya que tienes tu empresa después de haber pasado por empresas de las más grandes en producción en los eSports. So, I began to do tournaments for CPL in Dallas and we did a lot of tournaments uh, and then, you know, the streaming became more and more popular. Uh, people wanted to watch the show so we had to learn how to stream using very uh, rudimentary Uh, devices and then you know we grew and grew and did more and more business and then uh, ESL started to do a uh, different kind of business they want to do more of their own events so uh, we left the company and I started my own business to do uh, to do esports production Lauren al, alguna vez te imaginaste que llegarías a fundar tu propia compañía de producción uh, not really I mean I love video games and I think I just kind of got lucky that esports was starting to become, you know, a popular when I was playing video games and so I just kind of fell into it. Eh, desde tu perspectiva o tu punto de vista, ¿cómo ves el gaming o los esports en México y en Latinoamérica en general? Uh, it's becoming bigger in, in uh, Mexico and Latin America. You're starting to see uh, more you know, bigger events, like the, they would, there's recently been a big Halo event and a big Gears of War event and there's, uh, you know, Latin American championships in Mexico for League of Legends. And we're starting yeah. to see more Mexican players uh, and Latin American players participate in events outside of Latin America and, you know, worldwide. There's some, and some good players, some Counter-Strike players, FIFA, uh, you know, other games. So it's becoming, obviously, they're becoming better. They're catch starting to what we would say they're starting to catch up with the rest of the world. Sabemos que el mobile gaming ha ido creciendo mucho últimamente. ¿Cómo ves su futuro en el mundo competitivo? Uh, I mean, mobile gaming is, is going to become, I think, more and more popular. There are a lot of games already now, very popular. Arena of Valor, Vainglory, Clash Royale. Uh, you know, everybody has a mobile phone, and most people play video games on their phones. De lo, dentro de los eventos actuales, ¿Cuál es el que, ¿Cuáles son los que crees o cuál es el que crees que tenga mayor influencia dentro de los jugadores actualmente? I think the Dota 2 International event is probably one of the, the more influential events because it showed that the community was uh, very eager about esports because they, you know, they allow people to donate their own money basically to the tournament to increase the prize pool and it was the first prize pool of Uh, over one million dollars in the in the U.S. ¿Qué tipo de oportunidades podemos encontrar en el mundo de los esports? It's allowing more jobs, more opportunities for, you know, people that maybe didn't want to to be a doctor of of regular sports. There can be now there's, you know, there's more psychologists and production people that they can instead of just doing just TV now they have other chances that now they can do esports or, or video games you can be a player now so it's, it's giving more opportunities for different jobs uh, in different fields you know esports is now field for many different jobs Lauren tienes alguna anécdota graciosa divertida ahí que nos quieras nos puedas platicar well I remember once when we were in New York We were doing a, a big console event, and the truck that was delivering all the consoles, we had the consoles and monitored all of our equipment. The driver stole the truck and drove away, <laughs> and uh, they never found him, so we had to spend all day going to all the different stores in the city and buying consoles and monitors, all everything, everything. It was, it was a, a very interesting experience. <laughs> For that event. For that event. Lauren, muchas gracias por la entrevista. Gracias, Mike. Gracias, nos vemos en el próximo video.